In today's video, we're taking a look at the camouflage silicone skin for the Sony a6000 and a6300. Let's do it. Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if any of that sounds interesting to you. Without further ado, we're jumping into another product review. The last three things that I said just rhymed. That was totally by coincidence. <laughs> it sounded a little bit weird when I reflect back onto it that it did just rhyme, but I don't know, it's cool. We're clearly starting out with some, with some rhythm today. So the product we're taking a look at is the Camouflage Silicone Skin by Easy Cover. Shout out to them, full disclosure. They sent me this product. They sent it to me in a little care package with a lens case and some screen protectors as well, but I'm still gonna give a thoroughly honest review, obviously. I'm not gonna big this up further than it uh, deserves to be bigged up, but shout out to Easy Cover uh, for sending this over. But um, you know, 20 to $30 is basically what this is gonna cost. 20 pounds actually in the UK. I'm in the UK, would have cost me 20 pounds if I'd have bought this item. 30 bucks, an average of 30 bucks if you're over there in the States. Anywhere else, uh, you know, you, you, you could do the math yourself. I'm sorry, those are my two main audiences. <laughs> what is in the box, let me tell you. When we actually open up this, uh, you know, plastic case, the plastic cover that it actually comes in, we're gonna be greeted by a, a, another set of plastic cases, but this one's kind of like a, a Ziploc bag. And uh, you know, we can open up the Ziploc bag and we're gonna get the skin itself in there. We're also gonna get lens wipes or a singular lens wipe. So uh, you know, we give the, the lens a little dust. And we're also gonna get a screen protector, a complimentary screen protector, you know? Great, hell yeah. So those are the three key, uh, key elements in the box. And as I stated at the beginning of the video, and it's in the title, I assume, this is compatible with the A6000 and the A6300. Personally, I got the A6300. Shout out to all my A6300 users out there. And also shout out to all the A6000 users out there as well. But, um, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory how it works, but how does it work? I'll, I'll tell you how we put it on. I'll tell you how we actually start using this thing. So first off, pretty simple. You wanna unscrew your actual lens to actually fit this on. You can then wrap the skin around your camera and uh, you know, it's, it's not gonna be much, very resistant. It's not super, uh, you know, uh, yeah, resistant. You can very easily wrap this around. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure to push the strap flaps through. <laughs> I didn't notice this this right away. It took me maybe a couple hours or a little while to notice that the strap flats weren't pushed through. Make sure you push them through. It'll make it much more tighter. And uh, you know, I, it was pretty loose at first when I put the strap when I didn't put the strap flaps through. Push the th the strap flaps through. God damn it, that's a tongue twister. The strap flaps through, <laughs> and um, you know. Now it's basically working absolutely fine. Now put the lens back on after that and you have successfully, um, you know, put the whole thing together and it's, uh, you know, attached. Now the extra weight is not noticeable. It's really not, but the grip is. The grip is, instantly you're gonna notice a huge increase in the grip and not much of an increase in the weight. It, kind of, I, I guess maybe your mind's telling you that it weighs a little bit more, so it kind of feels a little bit, a little bit more, but overall I really didn't notice much extra weight to it um, or yeah, much noticeable weight, but I did definitely Definitely notice that extra grip 100% um, you know adds a bunch more grip you definitely feel like uh, you know it's a bit more solid in your hand if you're using the a6300 it's pretty light the a6000 I assume was well, pretty much the same build so they're both very very light cameras and um, you know it's pretty cool to have a little bit of extra grip especially if you're like me and you're kind of ghetto with your videography and you freehand a lot of stuff which I do it's pretty nice to have a little bit of extra grip um, you know Moving on though, if we're, if we're not gonna freehand it, right? Um, it is a little bit awkward to attach a tripod or attach, you know, a Steadicam or any number of, uh, you know, attachable stabilizers, um, gimbal, whatever the case may be. So you might wanna take it out. Uh, usually if you attach it, it's gonna end up scrumpling up a bit of the case at the bottom. You know, it's a little bit looser there at the bottom. It's not kind of hugging it as much as uh, maybe you'd like, I guess, but you know, no fault of the actual skin itself. The skin is perfect um, until you pretty much start putting these things on the bottom. And even then you can do it. You just have to be a little bit more careful, but I guess it's up to you whether you wanna keep the cool camouflage look, even if it's on a tripod, a gimbal or, or a stabilizer, basically whatever you're trying to attach to the bottom, um, you know, it just might be a little bit awkward. That's that. That's the only experience I had. But uh, you know, final thoughts. Very cool piece of extra kit. If you got the money, it's worth it. Obviously, this doesn't do anything for your actual quality. Um, I guess the grip, maybe uh, the, the grip's a little bit of a, of a plus. Obviously, that could add to more stabilization potentially. But um, you know, 
it doesn't really do much for your, for your picture. It is kind of just a cool accessory uh, to kind of customize your camera, make it a little bit cooler. All it does is really make your camera look cool. My bad, all right, I, I'll, I'll be real. All it does is really make your camera look cool. Um, it might promote some overheating as well, I'm not too sure. Um, it's New Year's Day or New Year's Eve in a few days, two or three days. I'm going to film a club uh, you know, with this camera and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep the silicone skin on there just to be looking a little bit cool and also so I can actually have a field test of how this holds up and whether it actually does promote overheating. But um, you know, unfortunately, I haven't actually gone and done that yet. Kind of meaningless for me to even tell you that. I basically, I'm, I'm telling you that I'm that I'm not fully reviewing this product, <laughs> more or less. But uh, you know, I'll leave a comment on this video as soon as I go film that club in a couple days and basically tell you if it promoted any overheating. But uh, final thoughts right now is that it's a good product, pretty cool, doesn't add anything to your quality. All it does is kind of make your kit look a little bit cooler, make you look like uh, you know, you, you've know you got a cooler rig basically. And um, if you are into it for that reason, it's worth it, 100%. So link in the description for the product. Shout out to Easy Cover for sending it through. Thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack. If this is the first video of mine, you made it through. You, you might watch some of my other videos and enjoy them as well. I, I figured if you make it to the end of a video, you, you probably enjoyed some aspect of it. So by all means, this is my invite to tell you to go check out some of my more uh, some of my other videos. They're pretty interesting as well from my point of view. I'm, I'm the one making them, so I'm a little biased. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and I'll see you later.